In this Abacus video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create nested variants. This will allow you to attach a variant to another variant. First, I'll click Products on the left side of the screen, and then select Product Variants. Now I'll click New Group at the top of the screen to create a new Product Variant group. For this example, I want to create a combo and attach it to one of my burger products. To start, I'll create a new variant group called Burger Options. Now that I've entered the name of the variant group, I'll click Save. Now I'll add two variant values to the group. Here you can see that I've added two variant values. The first is a burger only variant value, and the second is a combo variant value. Next, I'll tick single selection, as I only want one of the variant values to be selected. Next, I'll tick force selection, as I want one of these variant values to be selected when a burger is ordered. Now I'll just attach this product variant group to my burger. The next step is to create a nested variant, so when the combo variant is selected, options appear to select a side and also a drink. In order to do this, we'll need to create a combo product. First I'll save this variant group, and then we can create the combo product. To create the combo product, I'll go to the product subcategory. Now I'll use the quick add function to create the combo product. I'll leave the product code blank as it'll be automatically generated for me. For the name of the product, I'll enter combo. Now that I've created the combo product, I need to link it to the combo variant value. To do this, I'll go back to the product variant subcategory. Now I'll click the notepad icon here to edit the variant group. Now I need to attach the combo product I just created to the combo variant value. To do this, I'll click the products column next to the combo variant value, and then search for the combo product I created. Now that the combo product I created has been found, I'll just click it. Now the combo product we created has been linked to the combo variant value. I'll also set the price of the combo to be $6. With that done, I'll click Save so we can create two new variant groups for our drinks and side options. Now I'll go back to the Product Variant subcategory. First, I'll start with creating the side options as part of the combo. To do this, I'll click New Group. Now I'll enter the variant group name and also create some variant values. Now that we've created the variant group, and also created the product variant values, I'll change some of the settings at the top of the screen. First, I'll tick single selection as we only want to be able to choose one of the variant values. Since we need to add a side as part of the combo, I'll tick force selection. Now I'll attach this variant group to the combo product we created earlier. Now that the variant group has been attached to the combo product, I'll click save at the top of the screen. Now that that's saved, I'll go back to the Product Variant subcategory so I can create the Drinks Options variant. I'll click New Group, and then enter the details for the Drinks Options variant group. Here you can see that I've created a variant group called Drink Options, added the variant values, and also assigned it to the combo product. The settings for this variant group are the same as the settings we applied to the Sides Options variant group. Now that we've finished creating our nested variant for our combo, I'll click save and we'll switch to the pause. Now that we're on the pause, I'll do a master sync to sync the changes that we made on the back end. Now that I've done the master sync, I'll select the double egg burger. You can see here that the burger options variant group has appeared. You can see that the burger only variant value is selected by default, and the price of the double egg burger is $12. When I select the combo variant value, you can see that the price has increased by $6, and the options for the combo are displayed here. You can see that chips and coke are selected by default, but we can change these if we like. Once you've finished making your selections, you can tap the X icon, or move into another tab. 